we're going into the handicraft complex. Come along. This is all hand -carved. This is overlapping technique. People have some some of the wax are made in uh, waxing in the white fabric. Mm -hmm. Some of the wax are. Um, we, uh, I paint first, after that I'm waxing. So this is, uh, so this is uh, the overlapping. Um, you see? There's no wax. They still got wax. If you see nearly, you come near, so you can I see, see the, the, yes. the line. There's a right. wax. Right, I see the But lines. for dress, we must remove the wax. If I want to remove the wax, because our dye is similar like water color, so they're non-active dye, I must pick the color first. This is, uh, actually this one is uh, designed for textile, but they got art value. This one. This is by screen, isn't it? No, this is by hand. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. John. John Travolta. Remember? John John. How do you spell your name? J-O-N. J-O-N? Yes. Yes, yes. you see? J-O-N. You my copied my name, I told you. <laughs> so that's why I said there's no my... I'm maybe <laughs> You copied my name, because I was here first. Okay. Come on, man. How old are you, sir? Uh, 60. 60? Yes. I'm 70. Hello. <laughs> 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 I'm, I like your sense of humor. I'm not to be a friendly. I'm uh, 40 years old. See, I told you. I had it first and you copied it. There you go. What kind of wood is it? Tinal. Tinal. Manation wood, tinal. Local wood. Oh, I see. Okay. Hard wood. So the finish is more of this wonderful shape and you've taken this and you've really sculptured it. Is that okay? Okay. Thank you. What's your name? Oh, my name is Stanley. Stanley? Stanley. Stanley. John. Stanley. Nice to meet you. I love your shop. Art never has to be explained. It just has to be appreciated. My name is Ajis Mamar. I am a marine activist. I am a scuba diver. This is all uh, about my painting. I love turtles because now turtle is very endangered in Malaysia. Uh, I like to paint live in the water. I bring my canvas down inside to the water and then paint directly what uh, I think, you know, what I feel. So I don't want to follow like a photo. I don't want to be, even my painting is like, it's very realistic, it's like photography. But uh, the approaching, I don't like uh, follow a photo. Uh, I like to paint what I feel. When you bring this canvas inside to the water, this canvas they absorb the salt, you know. So you, the color cannot stick on. Mm -hmm. So I make research for this, you know, for one year. But I let that keep as okay. my secret. I'm standing here with the most creative artists. They're artisans, actually from the Siturasa, and they have created in chocolate, the Bind chocolate, an incredible impression. And then, why don't we introduce ourselves? Wasson. Uh, my name is Roslan. My name is John Young. My name is Abdul Latif. My name is Harun Jalil. What I think is so fantastic is the fact that it's so enormous. I didn't even realize there was chocolate when I first saw it. I thought it was a piece of sculpture made out of metal. You know, it is so gorgeous. So tell me, how long did it take you to do this? It, it takes us to design one month and uh, two, two weeks to complete the whole thing. Really? Yes. And what do you do in terms of pre preparation for it? Yeah, we, we have to uh, sit together, we discuss about the, the proportioning, the diameters of the, all each uh, for the, the uh, structure the, oh. of the building. Yes. In other words, the entire structure has yes. to be really planned and everyone, does each person have a different part to play? Yes, we, we divide to each person do one, one part of, uh, uh, of, the structure. of the structure, yes, and then we combine it together. And then who does the floor? Five of us, we do the whole thing. So it's really laying out a map. You're mapping out almost in world. Have you ever done like the entire city? 
Uh, no, this is the first time that we did, did such a big uh, landscaping of uh, uh, Putrajaya. It is so fantastic. I am so impressed. This is like, my God, you can eat your way to heaven. You know, it's just, <laughs> you should be very proud of yourselves. Yes, of course. We spent uh, uh, two, three nights, uh, uh, full days, non-stop doing this uh, finishing touch. So now you need a little sleep after the occasion. Quite uh, tired now, <laughs> we feel a little bit. <laughs> But imagine, everyone's come here to see this great treasure of chocolate. Now, chocolate is grown in this country. Yes, we have a cocoa plantation in Malaysia. Right. Yes. Is How far away is it? At one of the farms? Yes, it's, we have a few. Uh, every state, we, we have like a cocoa farm. Like in Johor, Johor we have a cocoa farm in Johor. Johor huh? One of our biggest states. Right. And chocolate is one of the desserts and one of the special things of the country, is that right? Yes, yes, definitely. Yes. And you've been a chef for how long? Uh, 15 years. So all together, let's add the years up. How many years? Starting? Uh, 10 years experience. 10 years. 13 years. 23? 15 years. Oh, I'm getting lost already. <laughs> uh, 18 years. 16 years. <laughs> You're the oldest one then. <laughs> Well, this is fantastic. Congratulations, and we certainly look forward to more chocolate and just eating ourselves to heaven. This is a great, great occasion at Siturasa. You know, this has been a wonderful trip here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I've shared some of the best experiences going out to the fishing villages, seeing the skyscrapers. Behind us are the tallest buildings in the world, the Petronas towers and also it's the most architecturally beautiful building. We're here for the food fest, the Siturasa, and I want to say that it's colorful. It's the colors of Malaysia. Until next week, I'm John Haggins, the Globetrotter. I'll see you then.